Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today with the Bethesda News Update. It appears Bethesda has future plans for the Nintendo Switch. According to an article by Nintendolife.com, Todd Howard says Bethesda will certainly be doing things with the Switch in the future. And as a ginormous fan of the Nintendo Switch, I made a video talking about how this is the console for me, because y'all know I loved my Vita and that went right to its grave, so now the Nintendo Switch fills that void for my portable gaming needs. Anyway, this article will be linked in the description down below if you'd like to read it yourself. It's quite a short read, in fact, and I'm going to cover pretty much everything that's there right now. Todd Howard says, well, there's definitely interest, but not something that we're exploring right now. We think that the Switch is a great platform. It was the first time we really worked close with Nintendo on Skyrim. Really, really great experience, and we'll certainly be doing things with the platform in the future, but right now, it's not a mainline Fallout 4. So pretty much what Todd's saying here is that they are going to be making games on the Switch in the future, Bethesda Game Studios, like they did with Skyrim, but it's not going to be Fallout 4. When I read this article initially, I was like, okay, so they're doing something on the Switch, whatever. I started looking at it differently though. If they're not doing Fallout 4, which would be the natural assumption for most of us, right? What games could they bring to the Switch? Especially when Bethesda Game Studios has such a tiny catalog of games to pick from. They already did Skyrim, they're not doing Fallout 4, so now we can pick from the following. Fallout 3, Oblivion, Morrowind, and if we really wanted to go far back to Arena or Daggerfall, which I highly doubt, but they're still worth mentioning. Fallout Shelter this past E3 also just made its way to the Nintendo Switch. So when I look at all this, I think, what is Bethesda selecting from? Now, upon discussion with Carrick on the Ham Radio podcast, I did think to myself, this is more than likely Elder Scrolls Blades. I feel like that would be a fit on the Switch with its touch controls, but also Bethesda bringing another portable gaming experience to the Switch. I imagine if Fallout 4 can't be brought to the Nintendo Switch due to optimization and the way that game is structured, and considering Fallout 76 is running on the same engine, and it's also a lot bigger apparently, then I can't see 76 being the game they're bringing to the Switch, and by the time that Starfield is out, obviously I think that's going to be a game that's much bigger than we can imagine, considering Bethesda wants to maybe make that game next gen. Bethesda does currently have a pretty strong history on the Nintendo Switch, with Doom, Wolfenstein 2, which I've personally been playing through, as well as Skyrim. Now Skyrim on the Switch is actually my favorite version of Skyrim to date. It doesn't suffer the issues like, for example, Wolfenstein 2 does, where there's blurriness, and as you can see in the gameplay here, it's almost like an image is being blown up or expanded. There are much better options out there, but if you're looking for the portable experience, which is where I played most of my time on Wolfenstein 2 again, it's actually a lot more crispy, I will say. So long as Bethesda can avoid those issues that kind of plagued both Doom and Wolfenstein 2 on the Switch, while very much they are still the same games, they do have those technical issues holding them back, and I imagine as technology progresses and as Bethesda Game Studio releases future games, those ones are less than likely going to end up on the Switch, which is why I dug back into their catalog of games before Skyrim. We do have to consider the rumor that had floated around for quite a while that Fallout 3 would be making its way to the Nintendo Switch. Granted, this was just a fake memo, it turns out, because there was no E3 announcement for it. But once again, with this interview and Todd talking about the fact that, hey, we are planning on doing things with the platform in the future, it did pique my curiosity a little bit. But my main guess here is Elder Scrolls Blade at some point down the line. We don't know how that game will expand, how big it truly is, so time will tell on that. One thing I don't want to squash in the conversation is the potential of Bethesda Game Studios creating something unique and exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. Is that a possibility? I don't want to rule it out entirely because there is a large consumer base that is on the Switch and is consistently growing, but on the other hand, investors have expressed concerns with the future of the Nintendo Switch. Will it be able to keep up a year or two from now? Because right now we can get games on there ported from the current gen consoles, but what about when technology advances? Will Nintendo find themselves behind again? So that's why perhaps there is something exclusive coming its way. I personally don't think that is the case. That is why I am leaning more toward the port side of things, especially given Bethesda's history and the history of the industry mostly. We haven't seen a lot of exclusive third-party deals. It's more so just been ports and Nintendo creating the big exclusives for their own console. However, the idea of Bethesda and Nintendo collaborating on something exclusive, something along the lines of a Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, would be amazing. What would it be? I'm not entirely sure, but I am in love with what Ubisoft and Nintendo did. It was a huge risk, a strategic Mario game, and what a amazing game it was. So to see maybe Bethesda consider something along those lines and creating something unique, combining their universe with Nintendo's, 
That would be awesome. Is it possible? Yes. Do I think it's going to happen? Probably not. But it is something worth, at the very least, talking about. But those are just my thoughts on this article here. Once again, it's linked in the description down below if you guys would like to check it out. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments down below. So do fire away. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content we create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.